Hey all, Choi Boy here. Welcome to another video. It's been like 3-4 months. Sorry about that. I had a lot of personal things going on. I recently came back to my old company called Plexure for everyone who knows me personally. Yeah, so I left my job at Trade Me and I've been in Plexure for roughly around 2 months now. It's been pretty good. People treating me really nicely there. Bit of an upgrade, holding a bit more responsibilities. It's all fun and cool. So that was happening and a few other personal things here and there. I know my hair's kind of like bushy and stuff and you know I, I broke my glasses so I don't know if you can see but um, I'm losing a nose piece here because it's kind of like it's dead. It's so dead. Oh, my hair's so long it's just it gets into my eye and stuff like that. I, I don't hate it. I like long hair like this kind of long. I probably need to get a haircut soon and stuff like that. I've been losing some weight which is really nice as well. It's always nice to lose weight so hopefully you see more weight you know off my face in the couple of months coming. I'm trying to lose like around 10 kgs before the end of the year. I, I don't know how viable that is but I'm gonna try my best so good luck to me I guess. So today we're gonna be talking about breaks. Nothing too complicated, I guess it's something that I've kind of thought about recently. Taking breaks physically and mentally, right? I think people know what it means to take a physical break. Like for example, you're going for a run and you had a marathon or something like that, then you take some rest days, right, to recover. Your body needs time to recover. 2020 has been pretty tough, to be honest. Um, had a lot of effects on me, for example, I kind of went through like a near depression during my time at Trade Me. It kind of forced me to kind of take a break, you know, let go of everything and just think about what I'm going to do with my life and kind of make some life decisions on what I'm going to do. So everything kind of initiates from breaks and if you don't take breaks mentally, then you break down and you go through a phase called a burnout phase. So you eventually burn out slowly and at a certain point in time, you just... I don't know. I guess everyone's a bit different, but for me, I just nearly died. Like, I was burning out. I don't know what I was doing. I didn't see where my future was going as well. It was just slowly dimming, you know. I was like slowly dying inside. There was a few kind of those kind of moments of where I needed to take a break from something in the past few months as well. Everything kind of led me to talk about this topic, right? I think it's a topic that is very undervalued. I don't think people kind of understand the value of taking breaks, you know. For an ambitious young professional, it's quite normal. They always want to strive. They always want to climb the ladder at work and stuff like that. That's all cool, but you really need to take breaks. It works anywhere. Taking breaks mentally and physically. You can take breaks within friendships, you can take breaks within relationships. There's a lot of benefits to it and the reason why you do it is because you learn a lot of things from taking a break. For example, if you're always going on a run every day, every single day, non-stop, no recovery time for your body, then you know what happens, your body breaks down eventually and you know, you're not giving it enough um, time to recover back to its normal state. The same thing happens in a relationship, friendship or even at work. And I think the work one is something that a lot of people my age would start to feel. I've been working for around three years and I've burnt out like, like a few times, like twice now. And it's just not that great and you, you gotta know when to take breaks so you don't burn out. It's like you need to know yourself, you need to really dig into yourself and see what really works for you. But at the end, I think everyone does need a break. No one can go just full steam ahead like 24 seven, like three, 365 days a week. It just doesn't work like that. It's, I wish people were that strong, um, but we're not. We're physically and mentally quite fragile in a sense. So taking a break, it's all about timing. So you need to know when you need a break. And normally your body tells you you need a break. You know, it's tired or it's always kind of shut down and stuff like that. Mentally as well, if you're always stressed, if you're always angry, if you're always sad or something like that and things are just getting worse in your relationship, friendship or work, then it's probably time for you to take a break. Now, during your break time, 
you can think about things of like what went well during the past few months or past year or so, what didn't go so well, how you can kind of work on it and what you want to do after your break. So do you want to keep doing the things? Um, so I guess it's a really good time to reflect on your life and whatever you've been doing and whatever you're taking a break from. And from that point onward, you get to know if you want to keep doing it and how you would do it differently, I guess, to make it more enjoyable after the break. So that's really important. So we can talk about what you can be doing during your break. So for example, let's say you're taking a break from work. You know, we got annual leave here. We have the freedom to take some leave of work every year. New Zealand gives you four weeks standard. Now, um, here you really got to think about how you're going to utilize your break. Because a break should be relaxing. It shouldn't be stressing you. It should be very calming and relaxing. A common thing people would do is go traveling. So because when you're traveling, you don't really think about the things you left behind while well, you tend not to and for that reason it kind of gives you like a fresh mindset when you think about it for example in Queenstown uh, Queenstown is kind of like my getaway so it's my favorite city in New Zealand I like to go down there at least once a year from now onwards I went last year September and I'm thinking to go again sometime soon and it's a really good place to just think about things away from the situation right so once you have nothing around you you just got really nice uh, landscapes really nice mountains a really nice lake as well and you know it's my kind of my heaven spot and it's somewhere where I can be a bit more rational a bit more honest with myself and think about things in a deeper level yeah it, it just works really well for me so I think traveling is a really good way to uh, take a break sometimes people like to take breaks but not necessarily want to go travel so I think in that kind of case, you can just stay home and kind of like, you know, fold your laptop away and just don't work and maybe read a book, go do some sports, you know, explore new hobbies, maybe. There's a lot of ways you can utilize your breaks and it really helps you kind of refresh your mindset and your physical and mental capacity. Um, that has been depleted over the past few months to years. So it's really important that you mix in some breaks every year, I think. For every year, you should be getting at least like a month off. And that's practically annual leave, right? Because there are so many different people with so many different situations, I guess some people can't afford to go on a break and stuff like that, I do understand. But regardless, it is very important. It's such an undervalued thing that people very underestimate the power of it's very very crucial even for a friendship right you've gone really bad and your friendship is going downhill you need to take a break and you need to step away from each other and kind of live your own lives for a bit and during that time what happens is that you kind of realize how much you value your friend right i think when you're always together it's kind of hard to differentiate if you really enjoy their company or not and if things are going downhill it's even harder to do so because it kind of clouds your mind up it just doesn't go anywhere from then onwards so it's really good to have a talk take a break and it kind of gives each individual time to think about how much they kind of like each other's company and stuff like that and what they want to do after the break you know not everyone gets along and I understand that and it is a good time to kind of reflect on the whole kind of the social aspect of things as well anyways um, that's pretty much all from me today not a long video hopefully for people in Auckland you did a really good job not going insane during the lockdown it's been a rough time for a lot of people in 2020 and hopefully 2021 is better but remember to take care of yourself if you like today's video give me that thumbs up subscribe to the channel put a comment down below what you thought if you want to see some of my other topic talks please go to my channel and I have a whole bunch of topic talks and travel um, clips for anyone who's interested in travels um, and stuff like that I have one for Queenstown and one for Australia back two years ago so hope you enjoy those as well and until next time I will see you around. Latest.